Hi guys, my name is Carla and welcome to my plant channel Chlorophyll is the new black. Today, sadly, we are at the end of this house tour plant. So this one is tour part four. I know, I know, it's a long, <laughs> a lot of tours. Today I'm going to cover the kitchen and I don't think you will be disappointed because I have more than 100 plants in here, including a tree that is basically this one. These ones are the plants that receive the most light of all in my house because this window is basically a southwest facing window so they get the hardest of the sun in the evening towards the evening i have no shade on the windows or anything so they receive the direct sun and as you can imagine i have mostly succulents and other plants that need highlight but let's jump directly into the tour <laughs> the kitchen as you can see and I have as you see as well afternoon light <laughs> and then I have more plants there and here and just a little bit here so let's start telling you what about my kitchen so starting from this stand I have this beautiful Phalaenopsis that is a Leodoro and uh, this, I mean it's pretty big actually, <laughs> this has grown quite a ton. It actually smells super nice, it smells like citrus and I love the, the smell so I actually have two of them because I love that. <laughs> and here I have this beautiful Miltoniopsis that I also have a picture of it in flowers so I will put it on the screen. It also smells beautiful, citrusy, I just love this type of smells. Then here I have like a mini Phalaenopsis that I also had in bloom and I will show you. I also have it featured in my orchid video, general orchid care, I will list it below. Then I have here a small panic cooking plant or a pilia, peperomoides, peperomoides, <laughs> oh I always suck saying it. Anyway, then here I have this beautiful, I don't remember the name, I will list it on the screen uh, and that cactus is not doing that good in the back, but okay. Then here I have another, let me go, here I have another orchid and this one is a cymbidium and I will show you, I have a picture of it in flower as well and it's doing great, it's grow, it's, it has a ton of new growth. Then I have here, this one are propagation of my, of the peperomia that I show you on the room that is a rotundifolia. And then here I have the string of turtles, as you can see. And here I have some, so these are also propagations from my living room plants. So this one is uh, a prayer plant, it's Amaranta leuconera, a variety Kerchoviana. Then here I have a small, uh, again, Pilia that I'm uh, as well trying to reproduce. Then I have this uh, succulent that I forgot the name. And then here I have a Habortia cooperi that is doing great. I reported as well in another video and I think it looks super cute. It looks like a guy with a crazy hair. Then I have this uh, Calanchoe that I don't know the variety. Then here I have this Peperomia, um, Peperoma orbia. And then this one is also one of the same as uh, this one basically. I got it from a friend. Then here I have this one. I also have it on, on a picture of it on flower. I will put it on the screen. Then I have, this one is an aloe and it's called aloe picalis or something like that. Uh, I will put the name on the screen as well. Then these ones are also cuttings from my uh, string of raindrops. And here some propagations as well from some succulents that I did before. This one is uh, my oldest orchid actually. Uh, it was in bloom um, until uh, one month ago or so. And uh, it's a little bit set back because it had an ongoing infection in the in the crown, and I have to cut the new leaves. And uh, but it survived. It even flowered afterwards, so it's doing good and it's recovering. So that's good. And then I have here as well a big cymbidium that doesn't fit anywhere, so I have it here. And the new growth is so long that you can see that it's just all over the floor. So I really have to find a place for it. Then here I have. Uh, my banda. Uh, this one it has beautiful blue slash purple flowers that I will put uh, a picture on the screen. 
And this one, I have never seen it in flower. I bought it uh, three months ago and it's a uh, Ascosenda and it's supposed to have, it's a hybrid and it's supposed to have red flowers, red beautiful flowers. Then here I have hanging from here. Let me see if you can see. Perfect. Uh, this Ripsalis, uh, oh, I forgot the name, uh, Polycarpia or something like that. And um, has grown as well a ton. It was just like, it had no nothing uh, hanging out of the pot. And now look at all this, this growth. It's just great. It's loving it, loving it in there. Then this is another string of raindrops. Then this one is a Habortia Hottentot. Then here I have a, a succulent arrangement that I actually did in another video. I will also link the video be below if you want to know how to do it. Then here I have my donkey tail succulent. So you can see that. Let me go a little bit more on the other side. Uh, that is also doing great. It's a little bit dehydrated, but uh, it's growing actually pretty good. And uh, as you can see, it's leaning towards the light. Then here I have a bunch of succulents that would be a pain if I have to name all of them. So I will just give you an overview. But uh, yeah, so these ones are again, these um, lit tops that are like living stones. Then here I have like a crested Echeveria. Then I have this string of buttons here as well, that is doing pretty well. I have it as well for a few years, it's growing pretty good. And then here I have some uh, cacti that I don't know the names. And uh, this one is a mammillaria, I know because it was in flower, so it was easier to, to find the ID. Then uh, this small one, I bought it in flower like one year ago, I don't have the picture, but it's, it's also very beautiful. And these ones are more lit tops, and this one is just a beautiful cactus with with a pink uh, spikes. I will put the name on the screen. And here we have this that um, I will put also the name of the screen. I think it was actually pretty interesting and beautiful. And then I have these two that I have no idea for them. And then this is just a propagation from my donkey tail. Then it's more Echeveria. Then this is also like a Kalanchoi, like this type of panda uh, pose. Then this one, it's a mother of thousands that you can see that it's putting thousand plants. <laughs> well, not literally, but a lot and it's doing great. Then I have this, so I decapitated some succulents and I like to keep the stems with a couple of leaves to actually get and new plants and that's what is happening here and then you can see that if we go uh, sorry but otherwise it doesn't fit but if we go that way i have many echeverias and more litops at the end so i love echeverias because they have very beautiful flowers i will put some um pictures on the screen because now these ones are dry then here um what else I have this Mammillaria something. I th I love how it trails. Look at this. It looks like a codex in here. It's just very, very special. I love it. We'll put the name on the screen. Then more lit tops. <laughs> As you can see, I also love lit tops. Then this one is a cutting of a friend's cactus. Then this one is as well one living stone. Uh, also a player's pillows. And then this one is a laugh. I don't know if you have followed me for a little bit, you know that I have this cactus that I actually thought that it really looked like a laugh before. Now it has uh, changed a little bit of shape <laughs> because it has a lot of new growth, but it's very beautiful. So you can see that is it, it grew new this and this, and now in the back here, it's growing a new part of the cactus. So that's great. Then I have also another beautiful Echeveria here and then I have like this Euphorbia and then we have more like this one is a Stapelia and then I have like some Tiger Joes and then I have this one is a Huernia here and then that one is like a smaller version of the Euphorbia obesa and then here I have the succulent that I don't have any ID and also this one I don't have the ID of this one. Then here we have way more <laughs> so again Jade Plant Another one that I decapitated that look at it, it actually works. You can see that it's growing new rosettes. Uh, sorry for the light, new rosettes. 
Then this one is another codex and then here I have like this one is an euphoria as well and then this one is the Burpos. There is also a, a Tomentosa and it's a propagation of the main plant that I will show you in a second. And then here are just more succulents as you can see. So also propagation of string of buttons and some others that I don't have an ID. And I have the string of, sorry, the the cat paws that are this one. So you have like the bird paws, but then the cat paws has like only three like nails as you can see there, just three. And let me show you, then here I have a, <laughs> a ficus that is not doing well. I bought it four years ago and after a, a couple of months it just dropped all the leaves. It was crazy. Now it's recovering, but it's taking a long time. And then here I have another Habortia. And yeah, here are basically this is one is an aloe, more litops, then another Habortia, then some this one is also one that I decapitated. This one I have no ID. And then this one is uh, Mexican, but I don't remember the idea as well. It's a Senecia, I think. And then here I have another Habortia, and all of these ones are also Habortia propagations of the mother plant that I have in there in flower, but I will show you in a second. So now let me go here. So this is the mother plant of the propagation of the of the bear pods. I think that it's just so beautiful. I love this plant. It's one of my favorite ever. And it has flower for me. It took two years to flower, but now it's flowering and I just love that. Uh, then I have some cactus here, some blue cactus. Then here I have like this um, in hertz of uh, cacti. I have here other varieties of the burpos. I, I really am a fan. And then you can see here, this one is like a little bit chubbier variety of, uh, let's say, leaf. And then this one is the variegated one. Then here I have more, so, Echeverias, I think. This one, uh, it's a, uh, oof. Mm. It slipped my mind, but uh, that one is also more chaverias. This one is what I think that is a Graptopetalum paraguayense, but I'm not sure. It's just because it really looks like it when I try to identify it. Another chaveria. Then here, this one is also Mexican, and it's a... I will put the name on the screen. <laughs> I suck at this. I really have a bad memory. Anyway, um, and then here you can see my avocado plant. And I am also propagating uh, here more. So actually you see that this one is already rooting and putting up this new stem. And the other one is just starting to crack here. That means that we'll start also to put out roots. So I have it in, in three stages. Stage one, stage two, and stage three. Awesome. And then uh, lastly, well, I also have another succulent here. And then this one is also a calanchoe, and I love the colors because it has like this dark um, purple that I love. And here I have, this one is a Hoya, and it's called Hoya Sunrise. I brought it here because it is supposed to, to get like a red color when it's exposed to sun. So I wanted it with a little more um, extreme sun so that it will develop the color. And it's kind of working. I mean, you can see that it's starting to get a little bit reddish. So... Yeah, we'll see what happens. And then here I have this, I think, the most beautiful flower that I have ever seen for orchids. Well, because I, I really, really loved it. And it's called Firefox, but it has never flowered for me yet. So I am waiting for that. I hope that this year, because it's putting new two new soda bulbs. So I think that it's doing great. And probably it will give me a flower. And then this one is a Carleano ID, but it has beautiful flowers I will put this uh, picture on the screen and here I have an air plant uh, all the air plants I have actually no idea of them uh, they sadly don't include a tag or anything so I will just tell you this is air plant one <laughs> then here I have more most propagation and some springtails that I cultivate there are some insects then here this is a plant two <laughs> this one is my air plant three and then this one is my air plant four. <laughs> and I guess this one is my air plant uh, five. And 
her plastic that is this one here so <laughs> anyway then we have here i also have this beautiful orchid i think it looks astonishing and yes it is an orchid amazing right i'll put the name on the screen i love it i have it since almost two years and it has grown like four leaves since then i think yes and then here i have another hagortia then here i have this oncidium it smells amazing it smells like chocolate milk uh, quite nice smell actually flowers are very small pink but they are just beautiful and smelly as chocolate it's really amazing <laughs> then i have here a baby phalaenopsis in the middle and then here i have this this is really supposed to be the the chocolate orchid it's a sherry oncidium sherry baby and it's supposed to be a cross that is super well known by the chocolate smell then here I have some propagations again from the raindrop and some propagations of the string of pearls. And then here I have this uh, zigzag cactus or fish bone cactus that I got as well some propagations by, for, from a friend. And then here I have this beautiful philodendron pearl marks. It's just doing great. It's amazing. I think it's just amazing how many dips it has put i got the cutting for free in um, march and now is uh, june so i actually got it with this leaf and that was like this already and this one i think yes so you can see that it was a bit damaged it was outside and then since then it has put all those leaves and they are going bigger and more beautiful so that's great and then here I have this terrarium that I made. If you want to know how to do a closed terrarium, I recommend you to see my video of uh, how to make a closed terrarium. I will also link it below. And here I have some propagations as well from my living room arrowhead plant. That is also nice. It got very leggy, so I decided to cut it and put it here. And it's just doing great. And uh, finally, here I have this beautiful Hoya Australis that I just ripped around and around and around because <laughs> it's just growing like crazy. It has just so many, 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 many leaves and uh, very long strings that <laughs> I can keep with it. Maybe at some point I will make it climb all this way till the... That would be actually pretty cool. So that's a new project, yes. So this was all for now, guys. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of plants, I think. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look like that much, I guess. Crazy, eh? And uh, well, I love it. Okay, guys, this was all. I hope you liked the house tour. Remember, if you want to see part one, two, or three, I will link it down below in the description. And let me know what do you think about having a kitchen <laughs> so full of plants? Would you do it? Well, I mean, I love it. Sometimes it's a bit complicated uh, moving around with plants, but definitely it's worth it. So let me know what you think in the comments. If you think this channel can be something for you, subscribe and click the bell for notifications. And see you next time. Bye.